All right, in other news tonight, manatees, they are dying at an alarming rate, many because of a lack of nutrition. So wildlife officials plan to once again feed the threatened species. News Channel 8's Trevor Sohaki is live for us tonight with more on that plan. Trevor. Jen Keith, the plan is to feed the manatees restaurant quality lettuce like you or I would eat. Unfortunately, they've been seeing this problem for the last few years now. So this latest solution is a last ditch effort. I think as a state of Florida, we should be concerned about the state of the manatee. For the second time ever, Florida wildlife officials will be feeding wild manatees. When there's such a vast number of die-offs and there isn't enough that we can do to save them, it's hard to see. More than 1,100 manatees died last year, according to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, many due to starvation. Over the years, we've actually had an unusual mortality event um, where we've seen a lot of manatees that are extremely emaciated and thin. This year, we're already at 736 dead manatees. Tiffany Burns is the director of marine life and animal programs at Zoo Tampa, one of three critical care spaces for manatees in Florida. This is something we've been seeing for a few years, and it's not something that is going to be fixed overnight. Officials started feeding manatees last year as a stopgap measure. The issue is a lack of seagrass and vegetation for the manatees due to human pollution. We wouldn't go out and feed a manatee in the wild. It is done very precisely through this program. Officials are working to make sure the manatees don't become dependent on the lettuce they will put out for them. The feeding should begin in a few weeks and go through March. Things that you use in your yard, you know, all the ways that we contribute to our environment, they have an impact on manatees. While many of the manatee die-offs are happening on the east side of the state, they are finding some manatees here in the Tampa Bay area as well. Zoo Tampa also wanted to remind boaters to be cautious when they're out and about because collisions with manatees are the next leading cause of death. Live in Tampa, Trevor Sahaki, 8 on your side.